What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to give you a quick update on what's going on with my R53 Mini Cooper S. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and stick around. You're going to want to watch this whole video. No matter which Mini Cooper you drive, check out my Facebook group. It's called Mini Cooper DIY. It's for anyone who works on their own Mini Cooper. Also, if you drive an R53 like the one I'm in now, check out my Facebook group, Mini Cooper R53 Enthusiasts. I'll link to both of those Facebook groups in the description. Let's get to the video. Okay, so that rattling noise that I'm hearing, I'm I'm about, you know, 80% sure that it's the crank pulley. I even, I started the car up again and I looked at it, at the actual crank pulley with the flashlight with the wheel off. It was nighttime. Um, it's moving a little bit, so I'm going to order another one of those. But the tool that I ordered to remove the belt hasn't got here yet, so that's why I haven't actually been able to fix it. And actually this weekend, I was planning on replacing the axles because there's a, a leak in one of the CV boots. Uh, and the car, the guy I bought the car from already had the axles in here. I showed them in the last video. But I'm one tool short. Well, I was one tool short yesterday. I went and bought a bunch of stuff, everything I needed to get it done. And then when I came back, my air compressor won't run off my inverter because my inverter only goes to 1,000 watts. I live off grid. Um, so I need to <laughs> go get either get a, a better inverter or I need to get a replace the battery on my generator so I can start my generator because my generator will definitely run my my uh, air compressor. The other maintenance thing I had planned, I was going to do the the power steering pump or the power steering lines and uh, where I went didn't have the right fluid so I bought this other stuff. It says it'll work but uh, I, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to get the right stuff. So uh, and I also need to get the tools to clamp the the hoses on it because it doesn't use regular hose clamps so i have to I don't, i've never used those kind of clamps before so i'm gonna have to order the tool and also in my last video i said that i was gonna go with the 17 percent supercharger pulley i'm not 100 percent on that yet i'm still leaning that way but i might i might either go with a, a 15 percent reduction and then go with a two percent overdrive harmonic balancer because ati makes one well, not harmonic balancer but dampener ATI makes a super dampener, so it's still a dampener, but it's 2% overdrive. Um, but it's going to be, it's still lighter than the stock one, but it's heavier than the regular size one. So I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I mean, lighter is going to make your car rev faster, but heavier is going to dampen better. Um, so I'm, I'm actually leaning towards the lighter one anyway, because it's still an ATI super dampener, which is way better than a stock one. And then it's a, uh, then I'll just go with the 17% overdrive or underdrive pulley because uh, for my supercharger, because I'm not planning on tracking this car. It's a daily driver. If I was going to track it, I would stick with the 15 so I don't overheat everything. But uh, I think I'll be fine with the 17. Another thing I noticed the other day is that the one of the intercooler boots is cracked. So I got to order some new intercooler boots. So I'll get those replaced. Those are cheap. I'm not going to do the OEM ones because for some reason those are way more money than the the ones that are better <laughs> so i'm gonna get i'll get some good ones as far as far as the actual intercooler i'll probably stick with just the stock one for now because i don't really uh i don't think i need a bigger one and everyone always says oh well it's not gonna it'll drop pressure you won't get as much boost if you go with the bigger one but then your car won't run as the intake temperature won't be as cool well if that's a problem i'll just run i'll run methanol injection that'll that'll solve that problem and uh you know, I think I need a bigger intercooler or a bigger uh, supercharger before I need a bigger intercooler. So I think I'm going to stick with the stock one. For, I'm going to do more research on it. You know, obviously if other people have tried, but I'm going to try it. It didn't work. I'm not going to do it because I'm not stupid. <laughs> you know. So yeah, I'm going to head out to the store. I'm going to try to get the part, get everything I need to get this uh, these axles on today, and then hopefully I'll have this video up tomorrow or the next day. I'll have this video up today, but I'll have. Uh, the axle install video up tomorrow or the next day unless i can't get it done today then obviously it'll be next weekend but yeah watch for that video and uh like i said earlier check out my if you drive an r53 check out my new r53 facebook group that's linked in the description and uh if you drive a different mini cooper check out mini cooper diy that one's also linked in the description and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs down and i'll catch you in the next video